thanks for joining us um, here celebrating the Handmade Music School tonight um, on Give Local NRV um, Giving Day, um, where the New River Valley is joining together a bunch of nonprofits to raise money um, to support the work that we're all doing here. Um, I'm here with Mac Trainum and Heather Krantz. Um, we have Dylan Locke and Skylar Locke here too um, at the Floyd Country Store, um, the home base of the Handmade Music School. Um, the Floyd Country Store has obviously been a, a stomping ground of this music for a long, long time, and the Handmade Music School is trying to pass along those traditions um, in many ways through private lessons, through workshops, um, through intensive camps, um, online opportunities, and we also have um, a, an archive project in the works. Um, so tonight we're going to be playing some tunes for you. Um, I'm Sophie Meckel. I'm a teacher here. I've been a student here from Mac Trainum, um, and I've been lucky enough to be part of the team running this school since it started in 2016 in different ways. Um, and we're going to have some student performances throughout the night from some of our talented students from the area. Um, and we'll play you some tunes and we'll just share little bits about the school. Um, and we're asking for your support. We're raising, um, our goal is to raise $5,000 um, by the end of the night. Um, half of those funds will go towards the Share the Music Scholarship Fund, um, where, talk more about that later, but to provide um, funds to really allow everyone to participate in what we offer, um, regardless of their financial situation, no questions asked. Um, and then also half of the funds will go towards the Music of Our Mountains archive project that we'll talk more about later as well. Um, but first off, we want to showcase two students, um, the Mc two of the McSweeney family. Um, we'll start with Misha McSweeney um, and then with Margot McSweeney. My name is Misha McSweeney and I learned this song at the youth get together with my friends. Johnson boys.
That was Margot and Misha McSweeney um, playing some tunes that they learned. Um, I think Misha was at our recent youth get together, so was Margot, um, our first youth music camp that we had here um, just a few weeks back. Um, and then they're both students of Mac Trainum over here as well. Um, and I wanted to tell you all a little bit more about the Share the Music program that we're raising funds for tonight. Um, and if you're so inclined and able to support the Hamden Music School, please, um, there's a link in um, the chat and also on screen throughout the night um, to our Mighty Cause page where we're raising um, funds this evening through Give Local NRV, if you're just joining us. Um, and the Share the Music Scholarship Fund was started at the beginning of the pandemic um, as a way of passing along this music, um, being able to pay it forward um, and your donations go directly towards students who wouldn't be able um, to afford otherwise to join us for lessons, camps, workshops, um, no questions asked. And throughout the pandemic, um, to give you all some stats, we um, distributed over $20,000 worth of Share the Music scholarship um, money to students of all ages. Um, and also were able to, to um, about 15000 over $15,000 um, went to supporting artists through the pandemic too, through our online Handmade at Home workshop series. Um, and so we continue to be about supporting um, the students and the musicians that are um, sharing these traditional music and dance traditions. Um, yeah, so then I'm gonna pass it over to Mac Trainum, um, one of our um, amazing teachers here to tell you a little more about that and play a tune. Thank you, Sophie. Welcome everybody that's tuned in and uh, email somebody or text them to tune on in and, and check this out because it's going to be some great stuff coming up. Uh, I've been into this music since I was in my early 20s. I was from the central part of Virginia and, and didn't know a lot about it, but I did play music and banjo and guitar when I came to the mountains to go to Virginia Tech. But uh, during that time, I got around dancing and clogging and came out to the Blue Ridge Parkway area where there were people still playing from the old days, old folks, and they were really uh, insp inspirational to me. And uh, I just kind of got swept up in wanting to keep it alive and in, in honor of them, because a lot of them, most all of them are gone now, but they left me with their sound in my brain and the memories of how much fun they had. Maybe Mill was a big spot back then. And then this Floyd store got started back in the late 80s and I got kind of swept up in playing out here a lot and jamming on the street and in the store and, and the dancing came a big part of this community and still is. So, uh, and then I just felt the need to uh, pass it on like the folks that had passed it on to me. So that's why my mission is to keep the music alive by helping people of all ages. I love helping kids like Misha and Margot and folks like Heather and anybody that is interested, I'll be glad to give them any kind of help I can. So uh, Heather and I are gonna play you one now and uh, I'll show you what she can do on the banjo. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna play Golden Slippers.
Nice, thank you, Mac and Heather. <laughs> um, next up, we have some videos from more talented students, Cheyenne and Wyatt Grantham. Um, and they are both part of the Hazy Mountain String Band as well. So listen to them next. <laughs> <laughs> Hazy Mountain String Band um, down in Franklin County, next county over. Um, and if you're just tuning in, we are um, spending the evening sharing student instructor performances and bits about the Handmade Music School um, here on Give Local NRV Day, raising funds to benefit um, our scholarship program and our Music of Our Mountains archive. Um, so if you're able to support the work that the Handmade Music School does, um, please um, donate. There's a link in the um, up, up there on Facebook in multiple ways. Um, so if you're able to give even just a little bit, um, 
It's $30 provides a full lesson for a student. Um, we have, besides us who are up here tonight, we have almost 10 of us teachers that do, that offer lessons across every instrument you can think of and also dance and voice um, and also offer many workshops as well. Um, so any little bit helps. Thank you so much to everyone who's already donated. Um, and we also wanted to thank um, two big donor, recent donors, one of whom is Bela Fleck, one of our good friends, amazing musician, um, who will be coming here to play at the, to the Floyd Country Store soon. Um, and on behalf, um, the Newport Folk Festival, on behalf of Bela, um, recently donated to the Handmade Music School. So we want to thank them for their support of um, the scholarship fund. And then also the Wayne Henderson Foundation um, also supported us recently. Um, so thanks again for all your support. And we have more student performances. Um, we have um, Jacob and Ben um, Kaiser going to play some tunes for you next. Thanks for being here. Hi, my name is Jacob Kaiser. I'm a part of the Handmade Music School. My teacher is Matt Trahan, and I'm going to be playing Short and Bread. <laughs> I had a good experience being in the Hammond Music School. It really helped me out a lot with fiddle and banjo. It's a great place to, um, to learn this type of music if you're just starting out or need direction. I'm definitely um, looking forward to more as, as usual. And uh, I would, you could um, consider donating to uh, the Share the Music Scholarship Program by donating to the Mighty Cause page. Hey, my name is Ben Kaiser. I'm a student at the Hammy Music School in Floyd, Virginia. My teacher is Mac Trainum, and I'm going to be playing, playing you an old Kentucky dance tune called Hook and Line in the key of C. My name is Ben Kaiser. I'm a student at the Hammy Music School in Floyd, Virginia. My teacher is Mac Trainum, and I'm going to be playing Walk Up Georgia Row in the key of D flat. Thank you. 
Right, that was Jacob and Ben Kaiser um, playing for you. And now we're um, back to play another tune and also to tell you about uh, the Music of Our Mountains project, which is um, another thing that we're raising funds for tonight. Um, this is an exciting um, digital interactive archive project um, that was started with um, support from Virginia Humanities grant. Um, and the first chapter has been launched. You can check it out at, handmade, uh, at musicofourmountains.com um, and see features about um, local musicians and the interconnections between area spots and, um, and traditions from these counties here. I'll let Mac tell you a little bit more about that too. Yeah, we're kind of proud of the music that comes from right up here on the Blue Ridge as opposed to Kentucky or Tennessee or down in North Carolina, and it has been a lot of people visited this area and collected tunes, and other ones from this area have gone and made commercial recordings, and the website celebrates a lot of the people from the pre-war times that were influential in country music, early country music, so there's a lot of information out there that has been researched about certain ones, and then there's a lot of, going to be more about people that were obscure, but also made great music and played from the heart and some of them didn't play for many years while they were raising their families and then they got back into it in the 60s and 70s and on up into the times when I came around and uh, still preserved some of the old ways of doing things in their uh, bowing styles, their banjo playing styles and singing and that's the kind of stuff I really like to promote and pass along and so there's lots of things that you can learn from going to this site and it really deserves a lot of support and it will help to keep this music more uh, people more understanding of it so uh, it keeps alive and I uh, hope you can uh, see some way to support that it would be great Thanks, Mac. yeah and you can um, your support will help this to continue um, continue adding resources there and expanding the project but check it out music of our mountains Dot com and every little bit helps tonight as we raise funds for that and the Share the Music Scholarship Fund. Um, so we're going to play you another tune, sing you a song. It was a wonderful yeah. family band from out on the Blue Ridge that uh, was well documented. They made a few LPs that are rare and they got found or made a lot of recordings that were just ones that people that are freaks about the music like myself mm -hmm. and others have. And uh, this song is one that they took from a West Coast source and kind of turned it into an old time sounding song. Although it's not a real old song, but it's really gotten around and people like it. And I hope you will too. It's called Red Mountain Wine. <coughs>
for being here um, out there, wherever you are. Um, the, the, I guess it feels almost like we're back in 2020 doing this <laughs> virtual world here. Um, but one thing that was amazing about all the virtual workshops and um, lessons and performances we got to do is that um, we got to connect with people all over the world. So maybe yeah. some of you are from, I don't know where you are. All yeah, over let place. us know where you're from. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> where cool. are you tuning in from? Um, and yeah, we have Mac Trainum here and Heather Krantz. I'm Sophie Meckel, and um, thank you for your donations tonight. Um, we have uh, another couple of videos for you from Ola and William Meckel. <laughs> playing some local tunes for you um, and next up we have a really special video that we haven't shared yet but it's a, a rerun of a performance a really special performance that happened a couple weeks ago now um, at the end of the first annual youth get-together um, so we have had three adult get-togethers over the last chunk of years the pandemic came in between them at some point um, but four-day intensive music camps here in Floyd um, with amazing musicians from all over the place. And this was the first year that we did one geared towards youth. Um, and we had a great crew of eight to 15 year olds who joined us, some who had been playing music for a long time, others who picked up an instrument for the first time really um, during this week. Um, we had Andy Buckman and Mac Trainum and Hannah Trainum um, and Heather Krantz and Dylan Locke and Kirsten Griffiths and myself all. Um, teaching there and the kids got to really delve into their instrument um, or a new instrument and singing and dancing and then they finished up um, the experience performing here on the Floyd Country Store stage um, at the Friday Night Jamboree um, and there was lots of dancing that happened that night so this is 
um, a peek at what they learned and performed during that week. And 50% of the students that participated in that um, did so with the help of the Share the Music Scholarship Fund um, that we're raising funds for again, because this camp will keep going into the future and hopefully growing um, and getting more kids into this music. So enjoy their show, the Youth Get Together Kids. This crew um, are pretty new to their instruments, and we call ourselves the Shortening Band. And we're going to play for you um, Shortening Bread.
a partner come out on the floor and dance together.
Right. Thank you for watching. Those were the um, first youth get together um, crew that were playing some of the tunes they learned during the camp week at the Friday night jamboree a couple weeks ago. Um, we were really amazed by how enthusiastic the group was, how much they learned and were willing to try everything during that week, willing to sing, willing to dance, um, willing to perform. Um, so we look forward to how that event continues to grow. Um, and thank you for all the donations throughout the night. Um, we're at 3,500. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, if you could continue sharing this, share with your friends, share with your family. Um, we have till midnight. Um, we could still reach our goal of 5,000 um, to go towards our scholarship fund um, and Music of Our Mountains archive. So if you can keep sharing this around, um, every little bit helps $5, $2. Um, and $30 for a lesson for a student um, as yeah as much as you're able thank you so much for your support of the Handmade Music School um, thank you to all the um, teachers who give so much to this organization um, and also to the students who shared their music tonight there's lots more of them out there um, and we have a workshop coming up soon Becky Hill um, on July 6 is going to be teaching a intermediate advanced flat foot workshop um, focused on how to match your feet to the tune. So join us for that. That's um, handmademusicschool.com. Um, links in the chat and everything for donations and for learning more about what we do here. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Um, and we'll see you soon. Thank you, thank you. <laughs>